Welcome to my channel. You know how when you put a pot on the stove and you turn it up on high, it takes a while, but eventually it will boil over? That's what's happening with January 6th. But before we get into that, I have to thank every single one of you that comes to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking them and commenting on them. Thank you for sharing them. And especially thank you every single one of you that has subscribed to my channel. You just have no idea how much I appreciate it. My traffic keeps growing and I keep being amazed by it because I didn't think anybody wanted to hear what I had to say. But apparently there are some people that do. So I'm going to keep talking. Here's what I'm talking about when I say the pot's boiling over. Uh, this is a story I haven't talked to you about before. I've talked some about January 6th and how some of the Capitol Police officers been, have been caught perjuring themselves in federal court. Uh, but this is a story that just recently came to my attention. There was apparently a pipe bomb found on January 6th that was very close to Democratic National Headquarters. And also there was one at Republican National Headquarters. And this thing was within like 20 feet of some so, uh, Secret Service officers who apparently were completely oblivious to its existence. But now that story is starting to break wide open by the, the yeoman work of Steve Baker who was an independent journalist and now works for The Blaze. But he's not the only one. Uh, and I'll put all the links to all of this in the description so that you can read these for yourselves. Uh, there's a video that Representative Thomas Massey has shared, shows an individual uh, dressed in dark clothing and wearing a backpack who approaches a DC Metropolitan Police vehicle and talks to them, and then he talks to the Secret Service people. Turns out he is an undercover detective for the uh, DC Metro Police. <laughs> and there are other uh, news outlets that are now also coming out with this story. So uh, Michael Schellenberger and Alex Gutentag whoever that is, penned a Saturday investigative story for public about the discovery of the pipe bombs at the Democratic and Republican headquarters. Significantly, they noted that the whole thing should have been a national scandal, but it's been covered up. And it's kind of odd when you think about it, because if you think about it from the aspect of politics, which is what always they think about in Washington, this would have been a perfect opportunity for the Democrats to exploit it. They could have said that the Trump, the Trump supporters, the MAGA supporters, planted the pipe bomb to kill Kamala Harris because she was there. And yet, they haven't said anything about it. And in the 841-page official report from the U.S. House of Representatives, it re was relegated to a brief mention in the appendix just seemed really odd, right? So now, this story is starting to break. And Tucker Carlson has interviewed a whistleblower who's talking about it. And uh, let's see, this is on Twitter, of course. The uh, whistleblower says, Tucker and I get deep into the J6 bomb hoax, pipe bomb hoax. Dems are using J6 as a major pillar for 2024. This will blow up in their face in spectacular fashion. Now, I personally don't ever make predictions because every time I have, and I'm 76 years old, I made a lot of predictions, none of them come true. So I'm not, do, I'm not in the prediction business anymore because I'm really lousy at it. But I would say that what should happen is that J6 should blow up in the Democrats' faces. They rigged this thing from the beginning, along with the FBI and the DOJ, to entrap Trump and to entrap Trump supporters, MAGA followers, 
and try to embarrass them and make them persona non grata in the United States so people would stop following them. Now that the truth is coming out, it's blowing up in their faces. Trump is more popular than he's ever been. He's uh, outstripping Biden in the polls. And it's very likely he'll be elected president unless they manage to rig the election even worse than they did the 2020. But anyway, this is what I mean when I talk about a pot boiling. You know, when you first turn the heat on, the water just kind of sits there and looks at you and doesn't do anything. And then you start to see a little bubble here and a bubble there and then a few more bubbles here and a few more bubbles there. And eventually it starts boiling. And if you don't get to that pot soon enough, it'll actually boil over. I think that's what's happening with the J6 investigation. It is now starting to blow up. Here's another video about the pipe bomb story. All these links will be in the description. You can check all this out for yourself. I'm not going to waste your time playing all this stuff. And here's another, and this is why I say the pot's boiling over. Here's another little tidbit. The former Democrat-led January 6th committee deleted encrypted files containing critical information before the GOP took over Congress. <laughs> what? They deleted information that was used in their investigation that they apparently didn't want anybody to see. Well, unfortunately for them, the Republicans have recovered those files. <laughs> and I would say they're probably looking at them very carefully because the information in those files was probably not beneficial to their January 6th investigation that the Democrats did. Let's face it, from the beginning, they were trying to set up a narrative. One, it was an insurrection. Two, Trump instigated it and coordinated it and conspired about it. And three, those MAGA people are evil. And all of that is coming back to haunt them. Now, I'm not a Trump person. I'm not a MAGA person. I've nor never worn a MAGA hat. I've never been to a Trump rally. I don't listen to Trump speeches, okay? I've talked about Trump before. I don't really like him very much. I think he's loud and obnoxious and crude. But it looks like he may be right about all the stuff he's been claiming. And as the news continues to pop this will become more and more of an influence on the election we have this fall. So it's, it's possible, and again, I'm not in the prediction business, but it is possible that enough could happen between now and November that Trump could actually win in a landslide, despite all the Democrat cheating. We'll see. Who knows what links they'll go to to try and keep him out of office. And notice down here at the bottom, this is an interesting video here because the title of the video is Judge Unseals Divorce Case, a Special Prosecutor in Fulton County Election Case. So I assume that's in here. I haven't even watched this yet. I will after I get done with this video and the next one I'm going to do. But and of course, again, I'll put the links in the description so you'll have all of this information for yourself. Um, you know, I've talked about the case in Georgia and Fannie Willis and her affair with the special prosecutor and how he's getting divorced. And now uh, the, the judge in the divorce case has unsealed the previously sealed information documentation that was submitted during the case. So now everybody gets to see what evidence there is that Fannie Willis had a, an affair with this gentleman. And if it turns out to be true, it could be the end of her case against Trump. It could just blow the whole thing up in her face. So that's the news for today. I hope you appreciate me bringing this stuff to you. I assume 
that my viewers are intelligent enough and interested enough to go look at all this stuff themselves and not take my word for it. You should never take anybody's word for anything. Document it for yourself. Confirm it for yourself. But I'm telling you, the pot is starting to boil over. And the results of that could be very interesting. We'll see. And as for you, my viewers, I pray that you will live abundant lives, that God will bless you with prosperity, that God will bless you with good health and long life, and that he will keep you safe from harm as he's done for me my entire life. And I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.